welcome back to another episode of Testing Your Tactics. And in today's episode, we have a fantastic box formation from Momo. It's a Robin Hood for Triple Two. Let's get into it. Now, as always, with these tactics going forward, we are using the winter update. We are going to be looking at having no badges, no past experience. The transfer window is going to be closed as well. And we'll be going on holiday for the whole season and leaving our assistant manager to take charge. Now, I want to give out a big shout out to Momo. First of all, thank you very much for letting me test your tactics for you. It's been a pleasure, as is your support. And speaking of support, thank you to everyone that's helped me to surpass my 400 subscribers. We're going for 500. Let's get it done. If you haven't already and you've watched a few of these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe as well. Let's get into the tactic. It's a very nice one and I'm very happy to show it. Now, as I mentioned, it is a four triple two positive mentality. It's a custom tactical style as well, which basically just means if you don't know that it hasn't been preset to any of these styles, if you clicked on a clean slate, it will come up as kind of yeah the tactical style of that so in possession it is a fairly narrow attacking width with focus play through the middle shorter passing with a slightly higher tempo as well low crosses in the final third with work ball into the box running the defense and to be more expressive as well in the transition uh, counter press and counter with distribute to the center backs as well as you can see from the intensity it's not too intense of a tactic it is more on the intense side than less intense so your players they should kind of they should survive the whole game if they've got some good fitness as well now out of possession it's a high line press of engagement with a high defensive line as well trap inside get stuck in prevent short goalkeeper distribution and trigger press much more often also looking at the uh, the roles and how they are set up here so a sweeper keeper on defend no instructions for the sweeper keeper two fullbacks on support no instructions on these as well and this is very interesting to see i'm quite happy to see this as well left sided ball playing defender on defend with take more risks and hold position center defender on defend shoot less often dribble less and hold position and anchor as a cdm with shoot less often dribble less take fewer risks and to hold the position as well with a segundo volante on attack with moving to channels and to get further forward Left hand side of the second bank of two, an attacking playmaker on support with stay wider, shoot less often, take more risks, an attacking midfielder on attack on the right hand side with stay wider and to get further forward. On the right hand side of the front two, a deep line forward on attack with hold up ball, take more risks, move into the channel and an advance forward on the left hand side that is move into channels. Now the first test that we have got coming up is with Everton. Their media prediction is to finish in 16th. It is on the winter update as well. There is no amendment to the points deduction. So there is still a minus 10 at the start of season for Everton. But let's get into it and let's see how we do. And fantastically from 16th place, we've finished in 6th. Absolutely fantastic. Now don't forget we did start the season with minus 10. So with this tactic we would have actually finished in 4th place in the Champions League and higher than Liverpool as well. So fantastic to see. Looking at the player stats. Actually, no, I've not really gone through that. <laughs> We've had 21 wins, 9 draws and only 8 losses in the Premier League. Plus 30 goal difference with 62 points on the board. Not taking in the fact that Villa finished just below us on 62 points. We had minus 10 point deduction. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Goal scorers, Calvert-Lewin and Beto. 1 and 2 with 20 goals and 17 goals respectively. Same for the average rating, Calvert-Lewin 7.43, second in the league with Arna Danjuma, third with 7.36. Speaking of Danjuma, top of the assist charts and Dwight Neal came second with 13. Beto, who seven player of the matches, joint second in the division and Idrissa Gay with 11 bookings as well. So yeah, a bit of a naughty boy with that one. But if we have a look at the team stats, we scored the most goals in the Premier League. I mind the way too much here, nah, we'll be fine. With 88 goals scored in 38 games, 8 of those coming from the corners, 6 for most shots for, and 8 for few shots against, 8 for pass completion, and we've actually got most possession in here as well, 7th with 55% possession. Most dribbles made, we made the most across the season, 
clean sheets we're not there and we're not in the fuse conceded either so kind of overall looking at the tactic it's very nice as we have seen so far let's see how we kind of got on in the other competitions and yeah we didn't do too fantastic we're knocked out in the fourth round of the fa cup to brentford and we're knocked out in the quarter final of the carabao cup to arsenal as well and lastly on the fixtures so we're just going to focus on the premier league here as well obviously we didn't go far in any of the cups so there's no point looking at them started off with a fantastic 6-2 victory against luton drew 3-3 with brighton but then we lost 1-0 to burnley which is a little little disappointing considering the squad that we do have and that was followed up with a 3-4 loss to newcastle but then a 4-1 win to bournemouth 5-2 against liverpool here as well a 5-1 against Villa, although we lost 5-0 to Arsenal. And looking further down, there are some big wins in here. 4-0 against Newcastle, 3-0 against Chelsea, 5-4 against Bournemouth, 6-2 against Sheffield United. And we finished the season very strongly with 4-2 victory against Villa, beat Wolves 2-1, Brentford 4-1 and West Ham 3-1. So we are conceding a, yeah, a fair amount of goals with this, but the attacking mentality and the goals that we are scoring... It is very nice to see. And if lastly, we just have a look at the squad stats and how we get on. Selection info, that's what we want. And we want to go over here. So, goal scored in the team. Beto and Calvert-Lewin both got 21 with 6 and 7 assists, respectively. Dan Juma with 14 goals and 16 assists. A fantastic season for him. He is our top average rated player as well. Yusef Chimiti and Dwight McNeil getting 11 goals and seven goals between them mcneil as well with the 13 assists our next test is going to be with brentford media predictions finished in 11th place let's see how we get on now 11th up to eighth place it is still three places higher than our media prediction now don't forget we aren't spending any money we're not bringing any players in we are just going with the tactic and the team as we are 18 wins seven draws 13 losses a plus three goal difference and to be fair, 61 points on the board isn't, you can't really complain about it. So very nice to see. Regarding player stats, to be honest, none of our players are involved in this. It'll be interesting to see how many games Ivan Tony played in this league as well. But as we can see, if you want to do a little bit more notice, Everton, they finished 12th without Momo's tactic. So yeah, if there's going to be anything that says it's a good tactic, the fact that we finished sixth with Everton is fantastic indeed. So looking at the team stats and the player stats as we do go through. Most goals, we scored the sixth most goals in the Premier League with 67. Eighth most shots and eighth few shots against. So what we're kind of seeing here is that we are attacking and we're actually stopping shots against us. Whether our goalkeeper is good enough to keep them out, that is another question. Pass completion, we're not there, but we are on 55% possession again with Brentford, fifth highest in the league. Top for dribbles made, as we saw with the Everton one as well. So a lot of dribbling is happening with this tactic. Most clean sheets and fuse conceded. We're not there, but yeah, we I don't think we're ever going to be there, if we are being honest. Looking at the other cups and how we got on in other competitions. So we were knocked out in the fourth round again of the English FA Cup to Hull and fourth round of the Carabao Cup to Middlesbrough. So we didn't quite like going north of the border here with Brentford. Well, say of the border, further north into England. Uh, we lost both of our games against Northern opposition. And we kind of have a look at the, at the schedule and let's see how we got on with this as well. Again, only focusing on the Premier League. It was actually a fantastic start to the season. We beat Bournemouth, Palace, Forest and Sheffield United. We lost to Liverpool and Manchester United, but we beat Fulham. We actually got a 4-2 victory here against Manchester City. And a draw against Arsenal. So, yeah, where are these losses coming from that is kind of uh, affecting us as we go forward? I mean, we lost 3-0 to Everton just at the top here, but you can't see that. 1-0 to Chelsea, a 3-2 to Sheffield United. That's disappointing. Man, United, uh, Man City got their revenge with a 4-1. I mean, losing 4-0 to Newcastle and 4-1 to Chelsea at the end of the season. You know, it's not too bad. Can't complain too much. There's a couple of sloppy draws here as well with Forest and with Bournemouth. But yeah, can't really complain if if we're being honest. Have a look at the squad stats and how we got on with these. Also, top goal scorer with Brian Embuemo with 15 goals and 4 assists. Neil Morpai, 
12 goals and 6 assists with Kevin Sharday with 11 goals and 2 assists. Now what we can see between these two teams, between Everton and Brentford, clearly Everton have a lot more firepower than Brentford do have in this, but where, where is the guy? Where is Ivan Tony? I mean, he has, he has played some games, apparently. Let's see how we get on with him. Has he played enough? No. He played two games in the FA Cup. Yeah, mate. Maybe we didn't register him, or maybe he wasn't registered by the team. It probably could have been that. A bit of a bit of an oversight, but, you know, can't complain too much. Our last, our last tactic test is going to be with West Ham. Their media prediction is to finish in 10th place. Let's see how we get on. And fantastically, another team that has finished in 6th place with this tactic from Momo. The Robin Hood, they are stealing from the rich and giving to the needy with these. So 20 wins, 6 draws and 12 losses with this tactic. 20 plus goal difference and 66 points on the board as well. Not too bad. Let's have a look at the player stats and see if any of our players are in here. Well, James Ward Prowse with 17 assists across the season. I mean, looking at how good Ward Prowse is as a player, it, it's hardly. Yeah. 20 corners, 20 free kick taking, 18 crossing. I mean, are you going to get anyone better than that? No other players are in here. Yellow cards. Edson Alvarez was a naughty boy with 13 yellow cards across the season. And if you look at the team stats as well. So for the first time, we're not top with the goal scored. We're actually sixth place here with 74 goals scored across the season. Seventh for most shots for and also seventh for fewest shots against. So we are, we are attacking and we are defending well. It's just our goalkeeper that is potentially letting us down. We are seventh with 88% pass completion and 55% again. All three tests now was at 55% possession. So this tactic is showing that it is keeping the ball very well. Fourth for most tackles won. Top again for dribbles made. We're actually on the clean shift one uh, sheet this time with six. 12 clean sheets across the season, but we have conceded quite a few goals as well. Now, if we look at the other competitions and how we have got on, Europa League knocked out in the quarterfinal to Liverpool. A little bit disappointing that one is. In the English FA Cup, we were knocked out in the semi-final to Tottenham Hotspur. And in the Carabao Cup, we were knocked out in the third round to Manchester City. So no upsets against us. You know, we came up against three very solid teams in the cup competitions. And it's just a little bit, a little bit heartbreaking that we couldn't bring home a trophy. Now, looking at how we got on with other competitions, Another wonderful start. Beat Chelsea, beat Bournemouth. Six goals against Palace, six goals against Nottingham Forest, and then Sheffield United beat them 3-0. So five wins out of five, but then there are some losses here. Luton 1-0, Brentford 2-1, Newcastle 1-0. Not fantastic, but 4-0 against Sheffield United, 4-1 against Fulham, draws against Liverpool and against Arsenal. Although Villa a 5-1 victory there or defeat it's not, not great to see but well, we ended the season very well with wins against Burnley and against Everton and then lastly have a look at our squad players and how we got on with this West Ham team top goal scorer Jared Bowen 24 goals and five assists Antonio and Sushek both got 11 goals with Antonio getting three assists and Sushek with nine assists James Ward Prowse 24 assists I mean what a fantastic season that is Looking down at Ben Johnson as well, he got 11 assists from a wing-back position. And yeah, Calvin Phillips with 5 goals and 7 assists as well. Now, quick overview of the tactic. We have beaten our media prediction in every test that we have done. The Everton result though being minus 10 points and finishing in 6th place. If they had the 10 points, they would have been in 4th place, which is fantastic. West Ham going from 10th place to 6th place and even Brentford going from 11th to 8th. It's very important to realise that there's no transfers being made. So when you are using this tactic, you're going to get a different result. Preferably because you're going to be buying players that are going to fit into your tactical system. But it's a big thumbs up. Well done, Momo. Robin Hood has been here to save the day. Now, if you found this video useful, please let me know down below. If you want me to test any of your own tactics as well, drop me a line. Very happy to do it for you. There's some more videos over here as well. And I'll see you on the next episode of Testing Your Tactics.